Peter, this is my issue. Okay. I have a lot of clothes in my closet. Okay. It's really packed. I can see the photos here, yep. <laughs> I've seen a lot <laughs> worse, <laughs> actually. You know, I, mine looks the yeah. same. <laughs> I actually have taken over the entire closet in our bedroom. Yes. And the sweater I'm wearing, I have a few of them in different colors. And I'll be honest, I could only find this one. Okay. <laughs> Wait, where does he, she, where does your husband keep clothes? That's what I was going to say. My clothes are uh -oh. subject to the basement, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty much the man cave. And she is not just only occupied. Wait, you get dressed in the basement? Well, yeah. <laughs> I hope you have some really warm underwear, man. <laughs> so can we give you a couple of solutions for this? Sure. sure. OK, look, here's the first thing. First you... of all, can I just say, you look fabulous for I... dressing yeah. in your basement. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> She didn't like this. You're really falling prey to the idea that more is better. That I, I have more clothes, I'll have more choice. But one of the problems is that with more, you feel overwhelmed, you can't find stuff, you, sure. s you spend money on stuff you already have, and there might be a little bit of a wedge between you and your partner, particularly if the basement thing's coming into play. Yeah. So when it comes to clothing, you should ask yourself four simple questions about the clothes in your closet. Now, you really do need to purge stuff, and to do that, ask yourself four questions. Number one, have I worn it in the last year? Mm -hmm. And maybe even more so in the last season, number one. Number two, does it fit you now? Now, the reason... Uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you shouldn't have wish clothes That's in right. your closet. Right. I wish my bum was smaller. <laughs> you know, I wish I was still the same size I was in high school. Look, <laughs> if you're coming out of a pregnancy, or on a diet, a sensible diet and exercise program, losing weight, that's fine. But having <coughs> all these wish clothes, mm -hmm. they mock you. They body shame you. They, they mock you. They do. You open, you, you open your closet and they say, ha, 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 you don't fit me. <laughs> <laughs> so don't do that. So, number three, the third question, the third one. thing, do I feel good in it? If you want to be with someone you feel good with, same with your clothes. Feel good in your clothes. And finally, do you get compliments when you wear that clothing? Because, I mean, look at this skirt. Oh, my God, that looks great. <laughs> oh. so, so you should... And that blue looks beautiful on you. So, look, they're the, four, they're the four questions you should really ask yourself. One other thing in helping you to get rid of clothing is what I call the lower third rule. You wear 20% of your clothes 80% of the time. That's true. You love clothes, a particular set of clothes. You wear them, you wash them, you put them back in your closet. Chances are the lower third of any stack mm. in your closet are it's clothes you that wear, you, right? you never wear. Mm -hmm. So go to your closet, take take oh, the okay. lower third, <laughs> and, <laughs> and chances are, <laughs> chances. Those are all really great rules. Can I just remind you that when you do purge your clothes, there are many people that could benefit from them that yeah. would fit in them appropriately. Absolutely. We do. We do. We do. We do. One simple thing, there's a very good reason why department stores have all the same hangers and hang clothes all the same way. It makes the clothes look better, it makes them feel more, more accessible. Look, if you have a closet with a ton of different hangers, all different shapes, it makes it feel crumpled and not very attractive. Try this simple tip, standardise your hangers, it'll make your closet feel a That's little a more great attractive. One.